Yeah, there's just a lot of disappointment. Um, that's what we talked about with the team. You know, I, I'm disappointed I didn't coach better. We're disappointed we didn't play better and and then take advantage of the opportunity we earned by getting the buy and playing at home. But um, yeah, I'm not discouraged. I'm, I'm proud of the nucleus we have. We know it won't be the same next year, but um, I think we got a franchise that, that's going to compete and, and be a, a title contender each and every year. And uh, hopefully this will drive us through the off season and, and make us have a little bit of an edge next year. You know, the buck stops the head coach, and, and we didn't get it done. So it's it's my responsibility to to find ways in which I could have done better, or put our guys in better position to uh, to have gotten the job done. And um, and I'll do that, and uh, and I'll be better a year from now. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough. I, I mean, like I said to the guys, is when your only acceptable standard is to win it all, you open yourself up to, to, to the disappointment we all feel today. Um, I didn't talk about the fact that we won the East and made the playoffs. I, the, the standard has been raised for us, and it's no longer a situation where we hope to get into the playoffs and, and are happy with that. We, um, Unless we're holding the trophy at the end of the season, we're going to be disappointed. I'm going to be disappointed. In, uh, I think that can be can be a good thing and a driving force for you when you when you set your standard that high. Agency, there's going to be a lot of change in this league, and um, I talked to the players briefly about that. That it's not going to be the same group, and um, and generally it's not the same group of coaches where guys end up getting better jobs or other jobs or head jobs, and so we'll have to. Um, it's going to be a busier off season, man. I think than than normal, and. Um, we're going to have to do a good job of, of filling the holes that we ultimately are going to see. Well, I'm always very open. I, I think that guys on our staff, a number of them, will make great head coaches. And I've always been um, very positive in believing that you're speaking about Chris at this point, about Chris has deserved that opportunity. And I believe that. And uh, I think he'll make a great, great head coach. I think Mike O'Shea will do the same. And, Marcus Brady and Steve McAdoo and Jay. I think all those guys are going to be head coaches at some point. It's just a matter of when the situation comes up for them and when they feel it's the right fit. Because uh, to have the relationship like Jim and I have here, where, where there's trust and you believe it's going to get done and you know each other have their back, that, that doesn't come everywhere. So those guys are going to have to make those decisions on their own. I'm very, very happy with where I'm at. Um, I love working here, I love the CFL game. I, mean, I love the freedom that it allows me to be a father and a husband in the off season. Uh, you'll never say never in this business, but um, I can tell you I'm very happy where I'm at. Really, yeah, I am proud of. I'm proud of the way our guys carry themselves. I think they handle themselves with class. I think they represent our organization the way. If I was an owner, I would want them to do so. Um, and those things I'm very proud of. But um, I think we'll always be disappointed. We were so close. You know, we had the game in the first half where we felt like we wanted it. We weren't able to close the deal. And so um, many opportunities to be a champion. And um, we let one slip through our hands. And Hamilton took advantage of that. And you have to give them credit for it. But uh, anytime you don't win at all, I think. Uh, it's tough. This one's going to hang around for a little while. But you know, that's what happens when you, you play in big games and you, and you don't get the win is uh, you think about all the the plays that uh, you wish you could have done better on and um, you know you can beat yourself up pretty good about it and um, but you, you gotta realize just uh, you can't win them all you know that's that's what happens when you lose I mean you you know you think of all the ways that um, you could have made another player here and there made it made a better throw on, on certain plays better read and uh, that's just part of part of playing football and, and wanting to win and wanting to help your team win and and uh, figuring out what you should have done better for me personally, I mean, it was uh, a lot of ups and downs, you know, with some injuries and, uh, you know, missing one earlier with the knee and then missing some time with the shoulder. And so, um, you know, just having to deal with, uh, you know, some rehab. But as a, overall, as a team, you know, I thought we had a pretty solid year, you know, building off of last year, um, you know, coming and being able to get first place, uh, take control of our division and, um, you know, put ourselves in a good spot to to have a chance to get back to the Grey Cup and uh, just unfortunately we weren't, weren't able to get the win. Yeah, yeah I, to be honest, I, I dealt with, with losses harder when I was younger. Um, I think just as you get older, you get more mature and you, you realize that, um, you know, you're, you're lucky to play a game and, you know, I have a family now and all that stuff. So you, when, when you have a family, it kind of takes away, um, you know, a little bit you understand that that's more important than some of the games. But, I mean, it still hurts. Um, you know, your your goal is to, to win the Grey Cup, and 
whether you lose in, in the East final or you know the semifinal or you don't make the playoffs, it hurts. With all the um, I don't know. I, I felt you know we were ready to play. Um, you know we had a good good solid first half. Uh, you know we just didn't play well in the second half, and um, you know it just wasn't our night. We just didn't make the plays that were there. I mean we had we had every chance to to win that football game, and I just came up a little bit short. So. Um, I, I don't think it's anything um, as far as effort or, or not being ready to go. It was just came down to just not making the plays, and then they did. Is that it?